today is 19, I mean, 12, 12, um, 13, 2019. Mm-hmm. Okay. Who you are and, um, and explain who you are and then tell us your story. It's, yeah. And then I'm going to ask you questions in there. Your name? I, I, ju I just give you a story. After that, you... I start asking you questions. I start asking you questions based on what yeah. you said. Good. Okay, and um, Good. what's your name? It's My name is Konstantin Borovoy. Okay. I'm a uh, Russian citizen. Mm -hmm. I'm here mm -hmm. in the United States. I was uh, in 1999, mm -hmm. two years before 9-11, I was deputy of the State Duma. Mm -hmm. It's exactly the same like to be congressman here. Okay. And uh, uh, it was uh, the time when Putin was trying to take power after the Yeltsin. Mm -hmm. And uh, at that time happened very, uh, I would say, radical events like explosions of the buildings in Moscow and some cities around Moscow, and started Second Chechen War, very big war, mm -hmm. and um, uh, two guys addressed to me, it was just in the middle of the explosion in Moscow. Mm -hmm. Two guys addressed to me because they had a lot of information about who arranged this explosion. Because official pro propaganda told that it's uh, <coughs> terrorist activity. Chechen, Chechenian activity. But they told me that they were involved in this activity. They are officers of GRU, GRU, it's military special service. And they involved in this activity by FSB. It's uh, civil uh, special services, mm -hmm. uh, FSB. It's very famous. And I arranged press conference in the State Duma about it. And we abused uh, Putin in this type of activity, in, uh, which I told that not only me, but another person was involved there. We told that Putin is trying to take power by arranging this type of uh, explosions activity. But the most interesting thing was that these guys gave me very interesting information about activity of nobody knows this person. His name was Ben Laden, not Bin Laden, but Ben Laden. It's his first appearance. And his organization, Al-Qaeda. And they told me that this Ben Laden is preparing a terrorist activity in the United States. And his planning, it sounds, in 1999, it sounds uh, crazy. He preparing of attack by the civic planes on the uh, uh, Skype uh, crimes uh, in New York. It was interesting for information. I had very good connection with American Embassy. Immediately I gave them this information and um, FB, FBI officer told me that it's not his level to accept this information and asked me to visit the United States. 
United States. And he could arrange meeting with uh, high officers of FBI. In October 99, I was in Washington and uh, my friend, uh, congressman of the United States from New York, arranged special meeting with uh, 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 deputy director of FBI and uh, his officers. And I gave them this information about uh, sounds. It's now quite clear, very understandable things, but in 1999 it sounds like I'm from the madhouse. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 people are planning to attack to uh, uh, attack in the center of New York terrorists uh, 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 um, sky scrape, scribes uh, and uh, destroy them it's it's it was crazy but they they got this information and the most maybe important thing I gave them was about that Russian special forces took part in this type of preparing. They supported Bin Laden. They supported preparation for this activity. And in uh, I've been in the United States many times. I was in 2001 after 9-11 in on the hearing uh, in congress on 2003 on the hearing in the congress on 2005 uh, and we asked together with one congressman we, he sent the request to fbi about my information did they have this information and the answer was very polite. Yes, we had this information, but because the special services of the United States they didn't use the information I gave later in 2001, 2003, 2005 on the hearing hearings was information about uh, growing up of Russian anti-American activity anti-American and any, any in any case uh, American congressman hug me and tell Constantine everything okay cold voice finished don't worry <laughs> we won <laughs> i thought no putin is preparing special presents for you not only what happened in 9 11 but maybe something more and they told no don't never never us everything okay and it was time when they expected to have good relations with Russia and they don't want, they didn't want to see any uh, any events, any uh, cases against the, their point of view of preparation Russia to be new enemy of the United States. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what happened then? Pardon? What happened then? I, I didn't what happened understand. after that? After all of that happened, what happened? What happened? What? What happened with the um, with, with the, um, the the information that you gave them, and what what did they do with it? What you know exactly? I told you it was in two thousand one, right. two thousand three, mm -hmm. right. two thousand five. I was on the hearing in the Congress. Right. 
I was ca- like uh, evidence, like a member of Russian parliament. I was a chief editor of uh, the big uh, magazine, America Illustrated. Okay. In Russia, American magazine in Russia. Oh, okay. And I and I gave uh, my about what uh, uh, what is my view on uh, Russia-American relations. Oh, just a second. Oh, okay. So what? So after you did all of that, what was the outcome of everything that you did? What did they do then? That's what I'm they asking. Do, what did they do? They, d- they didn't they do nothing did about it? No, no, nothing. They did. It's the, the main problem because they did nothing. Oh. Nothing. Mm-hmm. It's a problem. It's a problem we're speaking about now. They did nothing. They have full information. They have names. My proposal in 1999 in Washington, my proposal was to arrange for this officer special, to involve them in a special special program of defensing uh, uh, evidence. But they refused. They said it's... It's information from Mm Madhouse. In 1999, it sounds like information in Mm Madhouse. They refused to accept it. Mm -hmm. But I expected, by the way, I expected they would like to know. know. Uh, I I had a lot of information about this activity. Just after 9-11, in one week and seven days, I appeared in uh, uh, New York okay. in seven days in September 2001 but nobody nobody asked me about this information I had a lot of information even now I have information which can be interesting for the special forces American mm. but nobody interested in it because uh, it's shame for them to uh, to lose uh, uh, this information. Mm-hmm. It's 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 their problem. Mm-hmm. I heard that. So, what's this information that they you have for them that they you didn't give them? I hear very bad hearing. I said, what information did you have that you have now that you didn't give them? What is it? What is that information? The name of Russian officer who were around Bin Laden, the uh, information about ways of, of preparation for this uh, uh, events, for this criminal activity. But uh, uh, the price of this uh, information is 20 years, 20 mm-hmm. years. It happened. 20 years ago, almost okay. 20 years ago, 18 years ago. It's too late to start to, but maybe not too late. I don't know. I'm not a specialist mm-hmm. in these cases. I'm now writing a book about it, about okay. uh, 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 1999 about my information transferred through American Embassy uh, through Vice, uh, uh, Vice Director of FBI mm-hmm. through Congressman information I gave on the hearings in the Congress and so I'm writing a book about it. Well, so when would the book be finished? You have an idea when the book we finish? Yes, I finished the book. Now it it is in, in working with uh, interpreters. Okay, okay. And you work in it, so you should publish it. Yes, what, two thousand and twenty. It should yes. be coming out. 
they are tra- they they want to translate it. Mm-hmm. So they're going to translate it. When do you think it'd be ready to be released? I think in one month it will be ready. But um, American publishing houses they prepare they prefer not only to translate but to rewrite. Rewrite it. Books. Yes, rewrite book. Mm-hmm. And if I will have good publishing house. Uh, I think they will start this work too. Mm. Okay. Is there anything else you would like to talk about and um, tell the tell the viewers what's going on with you and that topic? But maybe you say uh, who, maybe you say it, who you are. But say who you it's, are. It's who information about. Yes. Yeah, the information. No, say who you are. Who am I? I'm Patrick Matiba. And I'm from um, Brook Media Arts, and we are interviewing a brother from um, California, is that right? Yeah, California. You're from California, right? Yes, I am in Los Angeles. In Los Angeles, California, and then he's telling us a few things about his past, and he wrote a book about 20 years of an event that happened 20 years ago, am I right? 18. 18 years ago, and um, he's sitting here right now 19, in front of us. 99. 1999. He's talking about exactly. it, and he's letting us it know what's exactly going on. Twenty years ago, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So tell us more. What's going on with that situation in the book of yours that you're putting together? It's a very interesting story. So you're telling me that you tell all this information and didn't do nothing. I just hard to believe. And then here it is. Yes, the nobody, World nobody, nobody, nobody believe, but. <laughs> Nobody believes, but we ask FBI together with congressmen in 2003. Did they have this information? And the answer was yes. But because of discoordination between special, different special forces mm-hmm. in the United States, we cannot use it. We didn't use it. 